Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibottom is coming at you with another video review. And today we're going back in time a bit and taking a look at the Transformers Decepticon Headmaster Skull Cruncher. Not Skull Smasher like the new one actually is called. This is the one that started it all off. And as you can see, there's a lot of similarities between this one and the new Titans Return version. If you watched my review of Skull Smasher, I did bring this guy out and do a bit of a comparison. But this video is just focusing on this guy. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I just got to kind of hold in his weapon right here. Uh, he does come with a gun, but you do have that green and purple alligator kind of look or crocodile. I don't know. But you can see it's actually a fairly big figure. I mean, in terms of an overall length, uh, bringing in my tape measure, you can see that he is uh, about 10 inches long. So that's a fairly good size in terms of alt mode for a, a Transformer back in the day. You see, you got some nice Decepticon stickers and other stickers kind of thrown out there just kind of giving them some nice details you got that obvious rub symbol right there which when you rub it you get it nice and warm there we go it proves that this is an authentic transformer and not some knockoff which ironically they have knocked off that sticker but whatever uh, in terms of weapon storage uh, you don't really have much obviously this back section becomes uh, kind of like a sword club weapon much like that new titans return one uh, his gun you really can't store it anywhere other than maybe putting it in his little hand there which as you can see does kind of stick out out, so you could do that if you really wanted to now in the original that North American series the headmasters were regular transformers that had the headmaster partners from Nebulon now this is Grax in that incarnation as you can see fairly large by comparison I just got uh, who is this I don't even know who this is I don't remember but for a comparison these are the new Titans return ones so you can see just how big they used to be and really nice detail uh, coming in uh, not not that not that way let's uh, zoom in so you can take a look really good detail throughout the entire thing some nice molded detail on the chest and everything some nice kind of gold paint there for the face uh you got all that extra detail in his arms and his legs and you come around near the back obviously this will be his face and you just ooh, let you slide it down and there's his actual large robot face so in the north american series like i said this was grax there was two different entities essentially this guy and this guy so grax skull cruncher but in the japanese series they didn't go that actual route this was actually the transformer this was a transtector or however you say it I, I never i always say it wrong but this is just the kind of think of power rangers or you know voltron it was a, a smaller character that controlled a larger character so these were the actual cybertronians and all of this together was skull cruncher grax never existed so now that you've had that little bit a bit of a history lesson uh, for his uh, articulation you can see the arms swivel out and again you got some nice added detail for the arms on the inside here you got the hips that are joined right there and then you got the knees that are also joined but you can kind of separate them there which always looked kind of weird and then you can store him on the inside here which i thought was kind of weird i like what they did with the new titans return one and made his uh, like little cockpit a little bit further back having them right in the mouth was kind of strange and then you can see well i don't know how well that's coming across oh you actually can kind of see it that's a bit tinted so it's kind of like that was a way for him to see through there so yeah there it is but all in all really very cool looking articulation wise obviously you could see that the mouth opens up uh, these can rotate as kind of part of the transformation these can also flex around but as a crocodile you're just going to kind of leave them like that so to transform them you're going to take this detach this and then swivel these out no oh, that's a little stiff there we go come on get rotate that out there we go and then take this whole section fold this out and then you rotate this around just like so you can kind of position these really however you want you can flex those up if you wanted to you can leave them down like that it really doesn't matter too much it's your personal preference so just kind of angle that down like so take this whole section rotate this to the back then spin these around and these little uh, bits right here kind of bend that elbow this little section here folds back like so so you kind of create his hand so uh, very stiff uh, this is an original toy it's not a knockoff or anything of that nature which you do have to be careful when you're looking for these on ebay uh, knockoff figures of these are very common so do be careful when you're looking around oh and then i forgot to take cracks out so take him out put that down there you have them and then all obviously you just take this guy fold him down 
fold this section up I'm gonna angle up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit and then you fold this section down you don't have to do this but this is the kind of gimmick that they would have here in terms of having the head swap and everything like that you can increase the power and such you can actually see the little tabs right here so when you put this in you can see that his speed or strength and intelligence go way high which is kind of strange because he really wasn't all that bright and his speed is very very low and you can see he does get a little bit top heavy I mean, it's not too terribly I mean, normally he stands perfectly fine but if you mess with him he may topple over but there you have him then you can just put that back up in weapon storage in robot mode you kind of have a little club weapon like i said right there and then obviously his little handgun fits right there very nicely and there you have him in his robot mode and like i said really cool how they actually kept captured you know that overall look that the new one has or i should say you know kept the overall look for this original one in that new one i mean i think it just turned out really very cool you can see that he does get a bit of a backpack but it does hang out there pretty decently and doesn't really look too bad and then i mean as a lot of the generation transformers generation one transformers he is a bit of a brick so his head doesn't rotate the shoulders do rotate forward and back uh, the elbows here do bend but are really stiff on mine so i'm not going to force it overly just because i don't want to break it or anything uh, so really that's about it for his uh, arm articulation uh, as part of the transformation he does have waist rotation but the hips here are locked those don't do anything but he does bend here at the knee but they are attached i always did wish that they could spread out a, a little bit just get a, a little bit more of a seam going throughout there i mean as it is it's not too bad I and mean, we can see you got a little gap in between there but i would have liked a little bit more of one but all in all a really cool looking toy and then obviously when he gets in his robot mode again a fairly good size for him bringing in the old tape measure you can see that it's about six and a half i would venture a guess so overall pretty good size for him and then again you got that same color detail you got the uh, stickers that are on there you actually got some nice chrome bits right there and then obviously to transform it back uh, very simple you just rotate this kind of flex that out bring these around like i said those little elbow joints are really stiff on this guy so i'm trying to be fairly careful with them straighten that rotate that bit around fold these up tuck them there fold that right there plug that into his back section like there and I, again i really like the little ridges and everything that he has there and then just kind of straighten out his little uh crocodile arms when we come underneath here it says hasbro takara 1987 japan so there you go uh but all in all really cool looking figure uh, you know like i said as a g1 fan this is one that i really liked i didn't like the the, the original headmaster series it just wasn't really you know, very fun and by that i mean the season four thing i didn't like that very much the actual japanese series is much much better it actually you know kind of rounds out you know the end of kind of like generation one and such so there it is there's skull cruncher like i said you can find this guy on ebay uh, prices kind of fluctuate you're looking at maybe 75 to 100 dollars for this guy overall not too terribly bad in terms of a price but again like i said you do want to make sure because knockoffs do exist so if you're looking for them ask questions and then compare them to what you see online there's a lot of good resources out there to make sure that you don't actually buy a knockoff transformer so if you're looking for them good luck and happy hunting but beyond that guys that's about it so once again i want to thank you for tuning in this has been optobotomous don't forget that if you like this video to please like and share that goes a long way towards helping me out also be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed that way you get instant email notifications whenever i upload a new video and you never miss out on a future review of mine and as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.